What is up dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts guys. Today we've got another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile. This time we're looking at Plunder Patrol. This is a deck I've had my eye on for a long, long, long time. Um, seriously, this is one of the decks that I've had just the keenest of eyes on ever since it came started coming out in Ignition Assault. We got Whitebeard and Redbeard. They look so strong. I thought all the monsters were going to be like that. They weren't. They went in a complete, not complete, but like a somewhat different direction than I was expecting. And I love where the deck ended up. I love this as a mid-range deck. I think that is my preferred way to play it but i also think it's like the way to like maximize what the deck wants to do and really highlight the deck as well as highlight the player because this is a really tough deck to play uh, it takes a lot of skill takes a lot of practice to know you know what situation requires you to go to do what and and that's definitely something to keep note of here when you're just looking at a new archetype to pick up but yeah without further further ado i just want to kind of jump into this list so Starting off with the uh, main deck monsters here, let's just get into it. We've got three copies of Whitebeard. We've got three copies of Redbeard. We've got three copies of Golden Hair. And you guessed it, two copies of Bluebeard. So, <laughs> so Bluebeard is the only one I'm not playing at three in this list. Um, the main thing here is I just wanted consistency. And honestly, Bluebeard is the least important one of you know the main four by far it's not close he is by far and away the least important one here but he's still good because we just want plunder cards anyway so i'm really playing a lot of plunder cards in this deck and that's something important that you might want to know is i am going pretty heavy on the plunder cards because i think that's what you need you need plunder discards so you want to make sure you've got a bunch of plunder cards in hand to make use of and they're all great seriously a solid even if it's even though it's the least relevant one it is a really solid extender um a golden hair and even better extender and she can like be a one card blackbeard well one and a half card blackbeard and then these guys we know they tag out whitebeard's insane seriously you're trying to use whitebeard as much as possible in a duel if you can because he's just insane so that is it for the plunder monsters um so just what 11 off that so that's a pretty good number there then we move to the only other monsters i play which are hand traps so i'm on three ash i'm on two ogre and i'm on two nibiru we also play the um impermanences so three of that making us a total of 10 hand traps it's probably a theme you've seen in a lot of my deck profiles as of lately i've just really been hating the combo like decks in the format um at emancipator specifically you need like two hand traps to actually stop them so 10 in the main gives us a decent chance of seeing two of them i probably also side the uka uh play if you don't know what that is you can just uka out i believe can you go out white beard or do you have to go out red beard yeah you go out red beard uh during your opponent's turn you're their first time first turn and then you're able to like tag into something have a negate for their very first turn which can actually be huge um but yeah um other than that we have these to help us like kind of control the mid-range game this deck doesn't have any specific synergies with nibiru which means i'm a little more reluctant to play it than uh to play it in the main but i am still playing it at two ogre's nice because like um uh, what was I going to say? The Numeron stuff just came out. So Numeron's going to see a little more play here. Potentially Guru coming up. So like hitting Gurus and hitting cities and stuff is actually not that bad. And then obviously Ash is Ash. So that's it for the monster lineup altogether. Not, I think it's only, what, 18 monsters? Well, I say only, but that's almost half the deck. <laughs> All right, moving into the spells, though. For the Plunders, we've got three copies of Plunder Patrol Shipyard. Make that four copies, because you got to play Terra. This field spell is too good. Three copies of Plunder Patrol Ship, Shape, Ship, Shipping. I love this card. And two copies of Plunder Patrol, or Emblem of the Plunder Patrol. Um, so this is it for the for the Plunder spells. Um, this is the only other thing that I, I cut down on, if at all. If you think maxing all Plunder cards is like the way to go, the only two I'm missing is a third Emblem and a third bluebeard so i still have a really hefty amount of plunder cards that we can draw to make you know a lot of our plays live uh, i really like ship shape ship shipping he is a phenomenal discard because then he just gets you emblem from grave as well as like a phenomenal bait card because a lot of people just see that you're firing off a fusion card and they know like that's trouble just based off of, like 
should all format and stuff and and uh, you know invoke decks and stuff they really fear like strong fusion so people just love to negate this and then you just like equip a an emblem from deck and like still get into the fusion like it's, it's kind of crazy so this card's really good it equips emblem emblem's really good by itself uh, even as like an extender uh, helping you play through disruption in a lot of cases and then this card is just so good because it gets you to everything gets you to everything i love this card so that is it for the plunder spells shipyard and whitebeard are the best cards in the deck booty too those three are like the best cards in the deck but i think booty is more of like a it complements everything so well that is what makes it so good not because it itself is like a busted card all right and then for the last three different spells we play we play two copies of desires two copies of salvage and three copies of called by the grave desires is so good in this deck you play three ofs of almost everything uh bluebeard we don't even care if it's banished and then emblem emblem you do care you can care if like you have a ship shape ship shipping but you can still equip other stuff which still like can be like nice right being able to just like equip anything equip like a list with a white beard and then summon the white beard on your opponent's turn get stuff going that way like it can still be there can still have other other uses there um but i didn't feel like it warranted playing emblem at three in the main um salvage just because it's so good especially in this deck specifically because if you end your turn without a plunder patrol monster in hand you um have to pretty much like fire blackbeard and pray that you draw a plunder card otherwise like you won't have a way to like disrupt your opponent um which could be huge so salvage is like a really good card where if you like do your combo and salvage is like the last card in your hand you're just like add two plunders back to hand and now you are guaranteed like good to go you're gonna like discard a, a a white beard you know to disrupt your opponent then get a special off white beard which could, is probably going to be red beard also get another search replenishing like discards in your hand and you just like are in such a crazy good position resource wise i love this card and then a uh, call by the grave so call by the grave plays one main specific role in this deck which is stop ash blossom because ash blossom is a pain in your dick i promise you guys ash blossom sucks so bad uh, like so bad in this like versus this deck the main issue is because all of your ships or most of your ships say like uh, app, as part of their negation effect they negate and then search you another plunder card it's ashable so they can not only they're not just ashing the effect to search they're ashing the entire effect which means you don't get a banish off milk you don't get a banish off um uh, brand you don't get uh, a negate off of list you don't get anything and it's so so bad to get ashed in this deck so i think three uh called by the grave is an absolute mandatory here because your entire turn could be thrown awry by one ash so i really want to prevent that if i can and if cross out designator comes out soon i'd probably play cross out designator in the deck too like honestly maybe try and make room for it um there and maybe play like a slightly more diverse like hand trap lineup too like something like that but yeah um that's where we're at for the spell cards finishing up there which leads us to our traps nothing too surprising here we're just playing three copies of plunder patrol booty and three copies of infinite Terminance. booty is insane seriously like booty white beard and the field spell are like the three best cards in the deck this is one of the best cards to draw and a lot of times i'm just searching it off the field spell it's so good um so this card just does everything i mean it, it, what this card allows you to do is just like bypass any matchup if you have this card no matchup if you have access to it like in the right hand no matchup is a bad matchup necessarily because this card will make it a workable matchup right so this card's just so good like never-ending resources like every turn as long as you're able to maintain a plunder monster on field very very good and then impermanence probably my favorite hand trap at the moment just because uh when it's a trap and i love purple <laughs> uh but two uh it bypasses guardian so like versus that emancipator they could have a guardian and if they just have guardian halk and you hit the halk and they don't have any additional extenders past that uh, a lot that's that can like just like screw their turn like entirely so really really nice there that is it for our trap lineup and our main deck 40 cards even um i honestly wouldn't even blame you if you said john screw it i'm putting in the third emblem i'm putting in the, the third blue beard and i'm playing 42 i would not blame you at all but i do think you want the hand traps i do think you want you need the called by the graves and then like the salvages the desires those are just really nice like 
you know, really easy cards to play in the deck because they just, they help so much, right? So 40 cards in the main, that is it there. Moving on to the extra deck here. We're gonna start off with all the plunder cards going through them pretty quick because there's not a ton to explain here, right? Three Blackbeard, I love three Blackbeard just for the grind game and particularly the mirror can be awkward. So three Blackbeard can totally come up. Um, two copies of Liss, two copies of Moark, and two copies of Bran. I don't think you really need more copies of any of these. I hope we get like an Earth one at some point. That would be really nice to like round it out because I don't think wind is gonna be that relevant really ever i mean maybe in a very specific format a wind one could be pretty relevant but other than that like i really don't see it, but an earth one could so like maybe we'll get an earth thing and it'll do something maybe it'll be like a spell and trap negate whereas this is a a monster negate and it'll be another fusion or something i don't know that it would be nice it would be nice to have like another um fusion target off of uh like ship shape ship shipping that would be pretty cool but yeah like i'm not complaining i think we're still like really set up i think all these are really good you have monster banishing spell and trap banishing it's not a negate but it's like the next closest thing monster negation the most important type of negation in the game and then blackbeard which gets you to it all and gets you free draws so really really nice card one thing to keep in mind guys if you can do your best not to blackbeard himself if you can uh this is something that i learned like i don't know in testing and stuff it's just it's tough because uh when once you blackbeard himself away and you don't hit that first draw like and you don't have a plunder card in hand you're just kind of like screwed right but if you can blackbeard another monster protect blackbeard and then blackbeard next turn that's potentially two draws and you're just getting an upstart goblin every single turn so just for the grind game sometimes you want to like always be trying to use blackbeard on other monsters saving himself for the future for next turn for next turn for next turn draw a card draw a card draw a card like non-stop um which is like, I think the correct way to play him overall. But yeah, that is it for the for the main deck or the extra deck plunder patrol monsters. That is uh, nine of them there. Moving on to the rest of the cards. For the Lynx, all I play for Lynx is one Almirage and one Union Carrier. Uh, Almirage is there for, if you, don't, if you know plunders by now, you definitely know this play. It's very simple. It's just golden hair. You just go normal golden hair. Um, uh, link her off for Almirage discard any card to revive golden hair and then golden hair and almirage can go into blackbeard so it just gets you to blackbeard and plus we have so many cards with graveyard synergy that like that discard could have gotten us so many things you could have discarded field spell which you can get back very easily you could have discarded white beard which you can get a free special off of you know what i mean you could you know there's just so many things right so yep that's it and then the union carrier is very specific in this deck so this is what this is, is a generic uh link monster that you can make very easily in this deck it's light which is very important for the sole fact that it opens you up for making a lice if you have access to emblem right so yeah, emblem just checks any monster on the field and in graveyards and so this is your one generic way to just put a light on field or in grave so that you can go lice then you can use union carrier to like equip a white beard to lice and then lice has the effect to obviously summon the white beard out um, during your opponent's turn, which means you'll have the Lice Negate, as well as Whitebeard being able to potentially tag into something else, which is actually pretty good. So um, just a kind of unique uh, card in that instance, and then just equipping stuff. Like, you get to equip, like, a Whitebeard, and then potentially, like, bounce Whitebeard back to hand with, like, a, your field spell, and then just, like, there you go, extra resources down the line. Just cool plays you can do with it, honestly. It comes up. It really does. For the Synchros, I only play one, and that is White aura whale this may be a slept on card i don't know how many people are actually playing this in this deck but it's really really cool this card has a bunch of different effects the main effect though is when he is synchro summoned destroy all is it special summon monsters no destroy all your opponent's monsters attack position monsters straight up just destroy all attack position monsters pretty nasty what's particularly good about that is that if you make this card using either white beard or blue beard you can actually chain block him which means if you're playing into a board with like savage and arc light or any negate that like negates on like negates responding directly to the effect not obviously not like an impermanence or a veil or something um then you could chain block this so they can't negate this they can negate like the draw off of Bluebeard, they can negate the special off Whitebeard, which might be in their best interest anyway. Um, but like, you still get to wipe their whole board. And then this guy's just a huge beater. So he can attack, let's see, he can make up the two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. He inflicts piercing 
and hold on, I want to make sure I get this last effect right. If this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card, battle, or effect, and sent to the graveyard, I can banish. You can banish a water monster from grave to just summon him back. Uh, which is actually just kind of crazy. So you just like bring him back, and then he's a never-ending like beater, essentially, inflicting piercing and just just really pushing for a ton of damage. So really cool card. Uh, when he comes up, he comes up huge, like an Exiton Knight. Like he won't come up all the time, but when he does come up, he's just gonna like steal a game for you. It's crazy. All right. Uh, next up, Dweller. Um, again, it's just Dweller. This deck is like all level fours. You can make this very easily. He'll actually get the 500 buff for once, which is pretty cool. So 2200 Dweller. Uh, yeah. Nothing too crazy there. It's Dweller. And then for the finisher, we have one Bahama Shark and one Totally Awesome. Um, I love this combination because you just go him for him. And then this can be like a material for a Blackbeard. But also, even if Toad does either fire, negate, or get outed somehow by getting sent to the graveyard, he can either add, shotgun himself back into the, into the extra deck for you to be able to potentially Bahamut him again later. Or... He just adds you like uh, any plunder monster like back to your hand for just you know future plays or just get a um to get a uh, plunder monster in hand so that you have like discards for potential like your other extra deck plunders which is pretty cool so um really cool plays there um you know just nice they're just if you can make if you can make Muhammad shark in a deck very easily which this deck can uh, you probably just play it so i like them a lot and that's pretty much gonna do it for our deck profile here guys i know this is not the most crazy spicy plunder patrol deck out there and i didn't want to make this list spicy just for the sake of making it spicy i wanted to keep it true to like how i actually like playing the deck and how i think the deck like should be played in my opinion um but it's really cool i think this deck is is so so cool it's one of the most unique decks we've seen in a long time from konami design wise you know just being like super creative and um i'm happy to see it honestly because sometimes we wonder we like we see a lot of these decks that are just like oh the searching field spell and the stratos monster and then like some utility that the monster searches whatever this deck is like so 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 much more unique in that and you worry that like oh it can konami even make any more have they done everything that can be done not even close they've still got so much to do so um i love this archetype hopefully you guys do too of course as always let me know your thoughts down below on this if you have any suggestions on what you think i could change about the list definitely leave them down in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching guys if you have not subscribed yet do so now we just hit a thousand subscribers i'm still on my way up we're still trying to climb and make this make this you know a real deal and um you know why not get on a, get in on the ground floor you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right i'm out of here guys thank you so much for watching peace